We are inquisitive. We want to understand things. We want to understand more about our place in the, in the galaxy and our place really in the universe. has always been the leader in space exploration. In fact, NASA's been the first agency to explore each and every one of the major bodies in the solar system. It used to be that we were completely bound to the surface of the Earth. Now we actually have spacecraft that have orbited Mercury, Venus. We've been around Jupiter and Saturn, and all the way to the outer planets, all the way up to Pluto and beyond. Think about that, in 60 years, we went from just standing on the surface underneath our atmosphere, looking up, to actually visiting these places. You know, human exploration is not Star Trek. It's not go where no human has gone before. Planetary scientists actually go first. They study the body, they study the environment, they look at the risks, they look at the resources, and then human exploration with that knowledge moves out, leaving low Earth orbit, going to the moon, and then on to Mars. Obviously we want to take humans to Mars. Obviously we want somebody walking on that surface. But our current missions are helping us understand more about Mars, are helping us understand how to create oxygen, are helping us understand about the atmosphere and the wind so that we can actually have a living life on Mars. The areas that we are most interested in, where we're putting most of our resources, are the areas where there is a potential for life. So when you think about Enceladus, which is a moon of Saturn, and you think about Europa, which is a moon of Jupiter, these are water worlds, where we're talking about entire oceans with ice shells. And ultimately, the question is, is it possible that we could find life on those worlds that are moons of other planets within our own solar system? Our job is to go look and use the tools that NASA has provided so that we can learn what's out there. Uh, how, how does everything work? The sun, the earth, the planets, the stars, all of these things are space science for us. The galaxies, or clouds of stars, hundreds of billions of stars, are going away from us with a speed proportional to distance. Well, what made that happen? You divide the speed into the distance, you get the age of the universe. So that was the first time we knew the universe had an age. Questions like where did we come from and how did we get here and the big one, are we alone? As much as we've learned about the cosmos, there's still so much that we don't know. And that's why NASA builds telescopes to answer those big questions that we haven't been able to answer yet. We can do more than we've ever done before because of capabilities that exist today. So the next 60 years, I think, is just going to be an exponential growth of our, our knowledge and understanding, which is really what NASA was created for in 1958.